Behind me, the Powers Poblachen here in Warsaw. This is the home of Prince Joseph Poniatowski. His home, the place where he had his famous parties, also the war office. Who was Joseph Poniatowski? He was, in fact, a major figure in Polish history. Patriot, general, minister of war, sometime marshal of France. Join me in this episode of Poland Daily History, where we learn more about this remarkable Polish figure. We said earlier, he didn't marry, but he had two, two sons, one of whom, I think, the mother of one of them was a singer, which, of course, in that, mm -hmm. in that, in that time, I mean, not like our, our, our world today, where celebrities seem to have a rather strangely elevated status, but, of course, in that time, at the beginning of the, of the, of the ah. 19th century, being, being a singer was Absolutely. probably... Absolutely. Was, was, ...was considered to be little Singers better than... Singers and, act and uh, act actors and actresses. I mean, sort of little, it's, little, it's, it's camps of the earth. Little I mean, better than prostitutes. Little it, better than... Pro exactly. in, in popular imagination. Yeah, it's, so, it's, it's changed very much. It, it, it's changed uh, in the Romantic period, when uh, the, 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 in, the institution of, of an artist appeared. And these people... It's the difference you have between Mozart and Beethoven. Yes. Uh, Mozart was kicked in the bottom by his, uh, uh, by the Archbishop of, of Salzburg. Beethoven was a hero of the of the masses. Yes. Because uh, people invented uh, invented uh, the institution. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's clumsy, but uh, um, that's that, that's uh, that, that, that's the idea uh, um, uh, to, to, to to have such heroes. Um, so, so, so that's why you have. So that's why Beethoven or Chopin are very popular, uh, uh, whereas uh, composers like Bach were regarded as as workers. I mean, you have a palace, and in that palace well, you, you have, have a, you have a Kapellmeister to yeah, sort of write music to, to yeah. actually. Yeah, but talking music, and that's quite interesting because Poniatowski, as a young man, did learn music, and I. He uh, took a music, a keyboard with him on many of his campaigns. That's what I. That's what I read uh, f too. That uh, that, that he's uh, not, not not the one like this because that would be too big. No, but yes. uh, that's called. I don't know the name in English. Spinet is called in Polish. Very small piano. In like English, it's called a spinet. Spinet. Yes. So it must have been something like that. I mean, uh, it's rather sort of rather attractive to imagine a man sort of in battle, but I, you know, taking his spinet sort of in the, in the quieter moments. And they say the, the Latin says inter arma silent. <laughs> yes. So, uh, in the in the uh, in the time of war, um, uh, muses are silent, but apparently not not, 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 a, not, not always, not, not entirely silent. No, no. And 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 in, the, and in this building, I need, this would be. Ah, do you know why it's, this this room is green? No. Ah, it's a very interesting story, because um, at the at the very very beginning of the 19th century, let's say 1803, there were two societies in Warsaw. One uh, of them was led, commanded uh, by um, Vincente Krasinski, right. uh, father to a famous Romantic poet, That's Zygmunt, right. and the commander of the light cavalry men uh, in, of the Imperial Guard in, in, one, in one person. So that was the one, one society. And the other society was led, of course, that was informal, I think led. No proper organization structures and so on and so on. The other was led by Prince Joseph, and they hated each other ah, right. to death. And 
they um, let's say um, those th those um, those guys uh, who joined Krasinski, his uh, followers, um, um, were let's say. They, 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 they were promoting uh, classical virtues. So, okay. Mm, no. uh, and as we know, the, um, the, the fellows of, of Prince Joseph are quite the opposite. I mean, the they, classical, they, vices. <laughs> classical <laughs> vices enjoyed the life in its, exactly. in its worst you know, uh, aspects. Um, and uh, the, um, uh, the Krasinski guys were uh, named, nicknamed themselves Towarzystwo Przyjaciół Ojczyzny, so a fellowship of um, fatherland. fatherland lovers, something like that. So, and and the, and and the, the other ones, the, the ones from Poniatowski on the Poniatowski side, called themselves after the name of the palace, Society. From under the tin. Ah, right. Okay. The copper, the tin. The tin yes. And the first wore um, black suits okay. with golden um, buttons, and those from under the tin, Poniatowski, wearing green. And that's why the, 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 the green color of this wall is an allusion to this, um, to the color of their uniforms. Ah, oh, that is interesting. Uh, which historiography uh, suggests that that was his favorite color? Green. Green. And this, this was the reception room. I mean, because we have to remember that this uh, palace uh, um, played two important roles. First, that was no, the place where he lived, of course, yes, the home. where he uh, where he uh, met people, uh, and the and the other function uh, since 1808 was the actual Ministry of War. So, to so imagine yourself uh, yourself having your office in your well exactly in yes. your uh, in your palace in your villa. So it's, it's, it's something like that. I mean, I, I mean it's, that, it's still by the standards of the thing. This mm -hmm. is quite a modestly sized. I mean, it's very nice, but it's quite a modestly sized. Mo modestly, and it's, it's, it's cozy. Yes, it's cozy. But if you're living here and you're running a ministry, you might find it's, the, you, you, it, it's actually quite maybe too cozy. At uh, the peak, uh, some 150 men were uh, uh, traveling, uh, were working here. So quite a lot. You know, imagine we are. Of course, the camera won't show it um, uh, at this time, but uh, we, we can say to the camera that we have, let's say, no, six rooms of this size. So that's not that much. It's not Le Louvre. No, no, exactly. And to get 150 people, but because they wouldn't all be here at the same time. For and this was the, the, the reception, um, the, the reception room. Uh, so uh, uh, those who uh, awaited patiently over there were then invited here to talk to, talk to, talk to the minister, to the minister, or and, to, pr and prince, and prince, or have a glass of wine if they were there. <laughs> exactly. If, they, if, if, there was, if there was any at hand. <laughs> yeah, if they were there, if they were there later in the day for other purposes. Uh -huh. and, 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 and so he would hold all his all his life would be passed in this building. Is uh, no, uh, he had uh, another, let's say, summer palace, rather a villa in Yabuona, right. uh, okay. next to north uh, north of Warsaw. Uh, right. uh, it's uh, it's completely different in, in, in style and in, in shaping, but it's also it's also cozy. Mm -hmm.